In this video, we're going to continue solving systems of equations, but we're going to use the system to answer a question in a real-world situation. And as we do these applications, it's very important we clearly define the variables. We need to know that when we get an answer like x equals 7, what does that 7 mean in terms of the problem? It has meaning in the situation. As we do, we're going to be working first with value problems where we'll have something like we're trying to find out that there are three nickels and four quarters, for example. So this is I have three nickels and four quarters. As we set up these problems, we're going to make an equation for the number of coins that we're using. The number of coins in my example here would be three nickels plus four quarters, there's a total of seven coins. Has nothing to do with the five cents or twenty-five cents, just the number of things that we have. Then we'll make another equation that has to do with the value of each of those. There are three nickels, and they're worth five cents each. To get the total value, we have to multiply by five. There's fifteen cents in nickels. There's four quarters. To get the total value, we multiply by the value of a quarter. Four quarters is twenty-five cents, hundred cents total. To get the total value of everything together, we add them up to get a hundred fifteen cents. So that's going to be kind of the process we're going through. We're going to clearly make a, an equation for the number of coins we're working with, and we'll clearly make an equation for the value of the coins we're working with. So if Brian has twice as many dimes as quarters and the value of the coins is 495, we want to know how many of each coin does he have. Well, first we want to define the variables so we know what we're working with. We want to know how many of each he has, how many dimes and how many quarters. These are going to be our variables. And I like to make really obvious variables like D represents dimes and Q represents quarters. Specifically, it's the number of dimes and the number of quarters. So when we're told first that Brian has twice as many dimes as quarters, we can make an equation out of that. Often what I try and do is start with the thing I have more of and say that equals the relationship. So here we've got twice as many dimes as quarters. That means there are more dimes, so I'll say dimes equals, d's the number of dimes, and there are twice as many, to get twice as many we do two times as the quarters, q. The dimes is equal to two q. The next part of the problem tells us that the value of the coins is four dollars and ninety-five cents. So let's make an equation for the value. To get value, we multiply each coin by its value. We don't know how many dimes there are, but we know there's a value of ten cents attached to each one. We also don't know how many quarters we're working with, but we do know there's a value of twenty-five cents attached to each one. If I want the total value of both of these, we know we need to combine them or add them together. And this is going to equal the total amount of money I have, which is four hundred ninety-five cents. Real quick, I want to notice here what I did. The ten is in cents, the twenty-five is in cents, and the four ninety-five was in dollars. As we make our equation, we have to match, so I made the four ninety-five into cents as well. We could have, if we wanted, said the dimes was point ten dollars, the quarters were point two five cents, and the total money is four point ninety-five dollars. It doesn't matter which way we go as long as we are consistent. So if we start with cents, we have to end with cents. You may notice now we've got two equations with two variables. We know how to solve these. If we have dimes equals this stuff, we can make a substitution to replace the dimes in the other equation with that stuff. So instead of 10d, it's now 10 times 2q plus 25q equals four ninety-five. And we can start solving by multiplying to get twenty q plus twenty-five q equals four ninety-five. Combine like terms to get forty-five q equals 
495. Divide both sides by 45, and Q is equal to 11. And we know Q is the number of quarters, because we defined that variable. There are 11 quarters. We still need to know the number of dimes. Fortunately, we have a D equals equation. Our very first equation, D equals 2Q, or 2 times 11. D is equal to 22. We have 22 dimes. We have 11 quarters and 22 dimes. There's twice as many dimes as quarters, and their total value is going to be 495. Let's try another example. Here, a child has three more nickels than dimes in her piggy bank. She's got 195 in the bank. How many of each does she have? Well, we know here sh we're working with nickels and dimes. So as we define our variables, we'll use N to represent the nickels, and D to represent the dimes, specifically the number of nickels and the number of dimes. We're then told she has three more nickels than dimes. So let's start making an equation. Which one is there more of? There's more nickels. So we'll say nickels equals, there's three more, so we're going to add three to the dimes. Nickels equals dimes plus three. The next part of the problem says she's got 195 in the bank. That's the value. So for each nickel, she gets a value of 5 cents. For each dime, she gets a value of 10 cents. If we add those values together, we end up with 195 cents. Again, notice I matched the units all the way across. Everything's in cents. And again, we can solve this by using substitution because we know what N equals. N equals the dimes plus 3, so we can replace the N with D plus 3. So instead of 5N, it's now 5 times D plus 3 plus 10D equals 195. Solving then by distributing, we get 5D plus 15 plus 10D equals 195. Combine like terms to get 15D plus 15 equals 195. Subtract the 15 from both sides, 15D equals 180. Divide both sides by 15, and D is equal to 12. We now know there are 12 dimes. D, we said, was dimes. We still need to know the number of nickels. Fortunately, we have an equation that says N equals. N equals D plus 3, N equals 12 plus 3, which means N equals 15. There are 15 nickels. 12 dimes and 15 nickels, three more nickels than dimes, with a total of 195. By clearly identifying the variable and making one equation for the number and one equation for the value, we can quickly solve these problems.